it's me Rachel aka Diamond Dotsy and today we have a Diamond Art Club unboxing. Now if I sound a little weird and like huffy I'm having heart palpitations. Um, either it's due to like a med change or um, my fibro or it's just honestly I'm thinking it's some disorder that happens in between your breastbone. I don't know. Um, I'm too scared to go to the doctor because of all the COVID stuff going on. But I am in sure fact that it's not COVID because I have no other symptoms but heart palpitations. Anyway, so that's why I sound like maybe a little out of breath every once in a while. Um, and yeah, it's just like me trying to catch up with the heart palpitations. Anyway, you guys don't really need to know all that, but we have an unboxing. Okay, I'm kind of nervous for this one because this one is my first square diamond painting. I've never done um, a square kit before, so this one will, in fact, be my first one. Um, never done square before. I'm kind of terrified to try it. Um, I know it's more like hit or miss. Some people love squares. Some people despise them and hate them. Um, they're the devil to them. Um, I just, I don't know what I think of them yet. I'm scared of them because a lot of people say, oh my God, they're so awful. They're so frustrating. But I myself have never tried one. And you can't really know if you like something before you try it, you know? Like, you have to try something before you know if you like it or not. Um, so I decided to just try this kit, see if I like it. And if I like squares, then I'll get more squares. If I hate it and have so much trouble with it, I'm not going to buy squares. Um, yeah, so this unboxing is of Milky Way Galaxy from Diamond Art Club by CYC. This is currently out of stock on Diamond Art Club, but you can sign up for email alerts. Now, I've been personally having trouble with the email alerts, and so has my mom. They haven't really been emailing people when they're back in stock, but you could try that. Maybe they'll email you. I don't know why they're having some issues when it comes to emailing when things are in stock. Um, I'm just double checking. Yep, it is out of stock. Wait, is it? Yep, out of stock. The price of this kit is $54.99. The size is 22 by 30, 56 centimeters by 76 centimeters. We're just gonna believe them. I don't know how to use a measuring tape. School failed me on that one. School really did fail me on that because I have no idea how to use like measuring tape to the rollers. They taught us. I just, I don't know. I guess I was off in my own mind or something. Sorry about the angle, guys. I'm filming on my iPod, iPad. Um, my tripod broke. Sadly, it snapped in half somehow. Um, so I'm filming you propped up on my diamond painting box on my iPad. So the quality might not be as great. And yeah. Anyway, let's get into the box. Let's get into the box. I love their boxes. And I know I said that in past. Um, past unboxing videos from Diamond Art Club. I think I have two Diamond Art Club unboxings. I really don't remember. Um, get all that plastic off. Plastic. I have cats, and my cats seem to like lick plastic for some reason. Does any of your guys' cats lick plastic or is that just mine? Because they'll lick the plastic on these boxes and they'll even lick the plastic covers that these kits come like 
on. Like, they even look that. It's really weird. Cats are weird, y'all. But I love them. Anyway, I love their boxes again. Pretty charms. Sparkly. Also, if you do get a kit and there's, like, a blue strip. I don't even know if you can see that. Hopefully, I'll move you up. Blue strip. That means it is a square. Also, right here, if you get a square framing the DIY diamond art kit, that also means it's square. If you get a circle, that means it is a round. So, I'm going to try my best to not ruin my nails. I just did them last night. These are um, impressed nails by Kiss. I'm gonna like ruin it now. Okay. I probably don't even need to do that, but I can't. Oh my god, my heart. Okay. Slide them out. Oop, oop, oop. And a loop. Oh shit. Sorry guys. That just came out. Um, I just saw the, people call this a schematic. I don't really know. I just saw the key and it looks like this has 51 colors. That's a lot of colors y'all. It's a ton of colors. Crap. I don't think I've done a kit that had 51 colors. That's a lot of colors. Oh, wow. Anyway, here is what the image will look like. It's very pretty. If you hear crunching, it's my cat thinking he's a dog and eating dog food. Anyway, here's the picture, the size again. This does have ABs in it. It says AB right there. So this does have ABs. Looks like it has one, two, three, four, five. I think five ABs. I thought they normally put the ABs at the beginning of the key because one and two is definitely ABs because it's at the beginning. But it does look like it might have other ABs just listed throughout, but I'm not really sure. So here's what we're working out color-wise. All 51 colors. I really like the purples. I think those will look cool. I love the colors they chose for this kit. Then we have the toolkit for squares. So this will have the magic applicator, comfort grip, Two wax pads, craft tray, multiplacer, and tweezers. Let's see if there's actually a multiplacer in here because they've been kind of stingy not adding multiplacers. So let's see if we actually get one. No, we do not. Hopefully they'll add back um, the multiplacer. Oh wait, no, that's just the wax. Hopefully they'll add back Multiplacer soon. I'm guessing they haven't really um, been doing them because of the pandemic or they keep forgetting. I don't know. Um, so here we have the pen, just your basic diamond painting pen. I honestly don't really like Diamond Art Club's pens that they give each kit because I don't I don't know if it's just me, but I have problems using their pens because they always seem to like dry out faster or something about their pens I don't really like. I don't have any um, fancy pens. I just use the other pens that other kids get. So here's the pen. Then we have some plastic baggies. They don't give us a lot. Um, yeah, they only give us four. They're stingy on the bags. Then we have our two wax patties and the tray. Cutie little tray. And then we have the tweezers. 
This is the first time I'm getting their tweezers. I have other tweezers while wow, they seem sharp. Wait, I don't want to hurt myself, but. Oh yeah, they're sharp. They're good. I like their um, little protector that these come with. They go like all through it instead of just those little cheap plastic things that are just like that. These look good. They're really heavy. So that's good. We have that toolkit. I already showed you this. And then we have the sticker that you can put in your logbook, journal, whatever you do with these. Um, I only did one Diamond Art Club kit that I got so far. And what I've been doing with the stickers is I've just been putting it um, next to my painting, completed painting in, in the, um, the portfolios that I have my diamond paintings in. So let's in fact get into the painting itself. This is baggy. Let's get into it. Okay, so I took it out and flattened it already. This thing is huge. Oh, look at that. It's not even in all of the frame. I'm currently holding you guys. There's the drills. We're gonna get into this later. But now let's look at the canvas first. So if you've never got a Diamond Art Club painting before, we have the design again, dimensions and name again. Then you have their social media. So use hashtag Diamond Art Club to be featured on our social media. And then they have a lifetime guarantee warranty. And then we do have the key of um, the symbols and numbers of the symbols on both sides of the canvas. Then we have their logo up here, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. So here is the piece. I can't even get this all in frame, it's too big. But it's, it's freaking large. Like I, I honestly thought it would be smaller, but this thing is pretty big. Of course, their symbols are really eligible. You could read them very clearly. I like that about their canvases. No trouble reading them. I love the design of this. I love the sky in the background and then the arch. I love the colors of this kit. I love it. I love the purples and the blues and it just, it looks amazing. I can't wait to start in this kit and get her done. Isn't she gorgeous? It's pretty. Stunning. Okay, so that's the canvas. That was the canvas. Now let's get into the drills. Isn't that just, it's just pretty, don't you think? Oh, I love it. Anyway, here's the drill. Little ASMR action right here. Sorry if you hate the sound. I love it. So to everyone who loves this ASMR sound, this one's for you. Let's see how many strips we have. So this does come with one bag of drills. Look at the colors. Dude, right off that bat, that pink color. Really pretty. We're gonna just organize this. One strip. One strip. How many strips do we have? Another strip. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to organize the strips of color. 
There's two strips and three. Okay. So let's pick a strip of color. We're going to do the farthest one first and look at all the colors. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so these again are square gels. I honestly thought the drills would be a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. I thought they would be bigger. So here's the first color we got 954. It's pretty green. And we got 743. That's that's a really pretty color. Reminds me of like dandelions. Um 3609. Pinky color. 3823. This reminds me of those flowers in the springtime. I forget the names. Lilies? I don't really remember. 3608. It's like a pinkish nude color. 598. It's like a purple. 3846. 605, 211, 3855, and we have our first AB. First AB is 133. This camera is not giving it justice because it's an iPad camera, but this is gorgeous in person. I love this color. It's so pretty. What symbol is this? Let's see. This one's number one, the symbol. So it looks like it's mostly in the arch, the arch way right there. This is so pretty. I love the shimmer stuff babies. They should make an all AB canvas. Six, 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 oh, six. 900, a lot of nice reds and pinks in this. I love the reds. 666, Miss, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's favorite number. This one's for her. 3811, 210. This is an interesting color, I like that. 3607. 718. This one's really pretty. That would be a good nail color. 742 and 604. Just like a baby pink, Barbie doll pink color. So that's the first big variety. No, it looks like we just have a little strip of two. Kind of cute. Never seen a strip this small before. So these colors look very similar in a way. This one looks darker, but they kind of look similar to me. So we have the colors 155 and 340. These colors do look similar, really similar. Does this look similar to any of you guys? Because they look like twins. Okay, so we have that little strippy. Then we have this, this very long one. This one has a ton of drills in it very heavy color six i mean 996 pretty blue color Ooh, ooh. i like this color this color is really pretty um 797 stunning it does not look like any of these have contamination looks like we're all good so far 3371 Kind of like a brownish color, I guess. 333. 550. So 550. 550. I love this color. It's like a really nice deep dark purple color. 327. 3746. I love this color as well. I love any colors that are purple and dark red and red in general. 
we have 915 and two 814s. I'm very surprised that there's no contamination or no like boost drills of a different color in these packs so far. Maybe there was and I just didn't notice. I don't know. Last roll of thunder. Okay, 917. This color's pretty. It's a really pretty color. Like a fuchsia, I think. I don't really know. I'm not good with color names. We have 209. Pretty purple, lilac y color. 38.54, which is just like a orangish color. 601, 603, 33.25, 600. There's a lot of numbers that start with a six in this kit. Seventy-seven five, seven hundred and seventy-five. This is like a mint greenish blue color. Reminds me of like a minty, minty blue color. This one's really pretty. This color looks really unique. Like I haven't seen any other kits that I've done so far that have colors similar to this. This one's cool. It's like mint chocolate chips. I really like that. Really pretty. 741. Very bright orange color. Reminds me of the Nickelodeon logo. If you guys have watched Nickelodeon in your lifetime, it reminds me of the Splat, the old Splat logo they used to have. I don't know if they still have it now. I think now they just do Nickelodeon, like just their name. But they used to do like a Splat logo of like... Nickelodeon and then it would like splat like Nickelodeon of slime or whatever. I'll see if I can insert it right here. I'm not sure if I can. 3853 519 Pretty. I love the oranges colors in this kit. They're very Nickelodeon-esque. At least in my opinion. Old Nickelodeon, not new Nickelodeon. Um, I don't even know what's on Nickelodeon now, thinking of it. I don't watch it anymore, obviously. Used to be good. Used to be good in the early 90s. I mean, in the 90s and early 2000s. Up to, like, up to, like, Victorious. Then after that, it's just crap, pretty much. 740, 208. I love this color. 602, 720. Uh, we have another AB. It does look like this kit only has two ABs. So, yeah. Two ABs are one and two. The rest are just random numbers. So, this is our second AB of this kit. It's a pretty white color. That's like really pretty it's a pretty like white color reminds me of snowflakes and frozen hopefully you can see the shimmer this is not doing it justice it's really pretty then we have 3837 love this color as well love purples 498 Ooh, we have a Cookie Monster color. It's like all the really dark and light blues. This reminds me of Cookie Monster in a way. Even though it's probably like a purple color, but to me it reminds me of Cookie Monster. Even though Cookie Monster is like a lighter dark blue, this one still also reminds me of Cookie Monster. Just one of the Muppets. I don't know. Wait, is Cookie Monster Muppet? I don't know. Anyway, silver 96, and our last color is 321. 
so those are all the drills as far as i could tell um they did not have any contamination of random colors in other bags which is good they're all socially like they're all good no one's contaminated and none of the drills looked trashy as far as i could tell um maybe somewhere and i just didn't pay attention because i was focusing on reading the numbers um but the drills good the drills look good i'm always confident with diamond art club drills because their drills are really good as far as i could tell and as far as doing them yeah their drills look good i do think they're small like i've never done a square kit like i did before and i'm like really surprised of how tiny they are like i thought squares would be a little bigger than round maybe they are i don't know but these are like really cute and tiny. Uh, I might have to do this kit next because I am working on a Mandalorian Baby Yoda thing, but I'm kind of getting bored of it even though I just started. Um, I should probably finish it before I start this one, but I might just have two kids going at the same time. Um, though I'm kind of nervous about doing that because I've never done that before, but Maybe I'll have to do it with this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited to start this one. I'll definitely be doing um, photo progress updates and whip updates and maybe like a whip and chat with this. I haven't done a whip and chat in a while. Sorry, guys. I just don't know what to talk about. In the whip and chat videos, I, I feel like I'm boring them. And they just like drag on and on and on. So if you have any topic ideas, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I might do a list of movies that I've seen this year. I've seen 73 movies, I believe, this year. So I might do an open chat where I tell everyone. Um, that's just makeup. Ignore. Um, where I tell everyone all the movies I saw this year and if I liked them um, and like a kind of synopsis of all the movies I saw this year. Um, some of them were really stupid and bad and were just not enjoyable, but some of them I really liked and I would recommend. So I might be doing a open chat just listing all the movies I've seen and if I remember um, cause some of them were from like January and that's been like a couple months ago. Um, if I remember some of the movies, I'll talk about them. Um, and then I kind of want to do a thing where I ask a question on Instagram of what's the one thing that you hate about diamond painting? Because I know we all love diamond painting. If you're watching this video, you most likely love diamond painting. I don't think if you hate diamond painting, you would be watching a diamond painting video, but if you are, hi. Um, I kind of want to ask you a question, what, like, what do you hate about that in the painting most? Because I think that would be fun to read off, um, things that you just don't like about diamond painting and that annoys you about diamond painting. And then I'll read them off and at you guys in the video and we could just all relate to the struggles and annoyance that bad diamond painting brings. Um, even though it's very fun and enjoyable and most of us like it. So I might be asking that on my Instagram and my Instagram is the same as my app on YouTube, which is just diamond dotsy, um, diamond underscore dotsy. And I'll have all the links down below in the description. I'll also have this kit in the description. Um, it is again, currently sold out, but you can sign up for email alerts and I'll probably update you guys and tell you when it's in stock too on my instagram i'll go ahead and do that as well thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a fabulous day and i hope you guys are staying safe still because this covid stuff is still going on um it, it's a mess y'all it's seriously a mess and we gotta take it seriously um so yeah I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Check out my other videos and then turn on the notification bells to get notifications every time I upload. Okay, guys. Bye. Stay safe.